All right, race number one. Up front, we'll see Nick Sorensen and Simon Zierk on the front row. Adam Barker, Avery Walker have the second row. Mike Dulling and Jason Wahlberg have the third row. Julian Ricard and Mike Marshall on the fourth row. Joel Wraith and Ronnie Wimberly rounding out the top ten. Dylan Steinbach at 11th. Brian LaRue in 12th. 13th is Eric McCready and Ed Schiller in 14th. As we get the track map up and all the cars loaded out on track, don't forget if you have a favorite driver in the field, make sure you drop in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering for here this morning. Russell Worth cheering on Mike Marshall, who starts in eighth. And got to say, Nick Sorensen's paint job for that McLaren looks really, really awesome. Love how the teeth are uh, going around it, around the grill. Looks like we're just waiting on Dylan Steinbach. Everybody else has taken to the grid. Dylan hits the grid. They'll come around and the Porsche pace car will pull off onto pit road. <laughs> Everybody gets rolling. Expect some really aggressive driving here early. They know that it's a 30-minute race. If they're, they're not going to need a pit stop, they're not going to need tires or fuel, they've got to make something happen quick if it's going to. We've seen a couple of drivers come back through it from early incidents, but it is extremely tough given the level of competition in with this group. Sorensen leads him out of the corner. Green flag in the air, and look, Adam Barker already was looking to make a move. Couldn't get there yet, but Avery Walker is down through turn one. Got one car going. Oh, we've got a car around. It's Julian Ricard. We'll take a look and see what happened to Julian here in a moment. Let's let him get out of the first section of the track down onto the high speed straightaway. Turn one, only claiming one victim this morning. Couldn't tell if Julian had help there or not. Let's take another look from a different angle. No, he just got on the gas a little too soon. It looks like Ronnie Wimberly has had an issue. That is, there's Ronnie turned around. Ronnie sends it deep into the turn. And I think he just clipped a little too much of the rumble strip on the inside. Nick Sorensen has the lead. Simon Zierk in second. Adam Barker up to third. And Avery Walker in fourth. Behind them, the four pretty much where they started. Jason Wahlberg now up into fifth. Mike Dulling into six. Mike Marshall up to seventh. Joel Wraith uh, starting to make his way forward in the lone Lamborghini here today. He is up to eighth. Dylan Steinbach dropping down, trying to take eighth. He does move him up to eighth after starting in 11th. Brian LaRue in ninth and Eric McCready up to 10th. Ed Schiller also up a couple of spots from 14th to 12th. And a lot closer racing out of these drivers knowing that 
strategy is a non-issue here today. Simon Zierk was has been battling for the win for several weeks now. Picked one up last week at Phillip Island and looking to pick up another one here today. Adam Barker in third and Avery Walker in fourth. Those two have also been up in the top three or four. And with Giancarlo not here, nobody running away with it yet. Dylan Steinbach uh, up three spots already. And the Mercedes of Brian LaRue also up three spots in ninth. As they come past the start finish line again. Sorensen up front opens up three quarters of a second over Simon Zierk. But look at this. The top six nose to tail. Still 3.6 seconds separate this group. As everybody trying to make up any ground they can right now. But Sorensen in the lighter and less powerful McLaren is continuing to lead. Back in 10th, McCready up three spots. Trying to pick up a little ground. McCready, one of the drivers said he was struggling here, is not a fan of this track. And Brian LaRue in the Mercedes all season long so far and making it work. And oh, look at that move. LaRue making that Mercedes work when, oh, Dylan Steinbach goes around. Looks like he was on the gas too hard as LaRue tried to come around. Mercedes known for its power, but definitely not for its handling is he is definitely making that car work here today. Already up four spots into eighth. Eric McCready up four spots into ninth. Ed Schiller also up four spots into tenth. And Nick Sorensen just turned the fastest lap of the race. Last time by so far, nobody has cleared the two minute mark yet despite us seeing 159s in practice. Brian LaRue really starting to gain on the cars in front of him. The gap about four and a half seconds. Down the straightaway though, he starts to gain actually into the turns. He's losing time. We'll have to see how it plays out as McMullen is looking for a move, couldn't get there. You can see the disparity that, oh, Eric, it gets a little too much of the curbing there. You can see how much better the Audi gets through the turn than the Merc does. Let's hop in with Eric McCready and run a lap, a couple of turns into this, obviously. And you see the way Brian really has to fight that Mercedes to get it into the turn. It just doesn't turn nearly as smoothly. But definitely has the advantage on the straightaways with all that extra power.
and you can really tell the difference in the lines these guys are taking. The, uh, the Mercedes really has to set up the corner completely differently. Can't get the apexes like the other cars do. But look at the power on the straightaways as it starts to pull away. And the way he's been driving that Mercedes the last couple of weeks, would not be surprised to see him put that car in victory lane before long. Eric staying right in the slipstream, trying to take advantage of that more powerful car in front of him. One of the hardest parts of the track these last few corners. McCready's lap was at two minutes and two seconds that time by in the Audi. Meanwhile, Nick Sorensen still up front, now 1.15 second lead. Over Simon Zierk in second, Adam Barker still holding on to third, Avery Walker in fourth, and Jason Wahlberg up to fifth. Jason was having some great races last week, got caught up with some bad luck, looking to make a comeback here today. Mike Dolig in sixth right now, currently Second in points, needs some great racing here today. Has an opportunity to make up a little bit of points on the leader. They do have drop races. However, a couple of wins here today would definitely help Mike Dolly close the gap on Giancarlo. Both Giancarlo and Yuho, the last two seasons champions, not here today. Also another oddity here today, there is not a single Porsche in the field. We have seen the Porsche last season, the Porsche really was the dominant car. Giancarlo obviously in the Lambo all season long, but the Porsches were the pro prominent car in the field. However, this season we are seeing fewer and fewer Porsches on track. And with Yuho switching over to the Lambo for this season, that might be part of the reason why. Adam Barker having a great season, looking for continued consistency. Adam Barker comes in today, fourth in points after winning the season opener. And just six points behind Simon Zierk and 11 points behind Second place, Mike Dulling. Sorensen up front, that exhaust flaming as he gets back on the gas. You gotta love the exhaust position on the McLaren and getting to see that. And oh, Adam Barker and Mike Dulling have had an incident. Going to this two race format, the aggression definitely stepping up as Adam Barker goes around and Mike Dolan goes around behind him. Looked like Dolan got in a little too deep. Adam Barker got in too deep as well, just getting on the brakes and turning the car. Sorensen's lead, now 1.3 seconds over Simon Zierk. Third place is Avery Walker now. Jason Wahlberg now up to fourth. Mm -hmm. 
Mike Dolling currently in fifth. And look who has made his way up six spots to seventh place after talking during pre-race about the fact he doesn't like this track. He has no speed. He has no rhythm here. Eric the Mullet McCready is up to seventh place after starting in 13th. And he just ran his fastest lap of the race so far, a 201.41. And look at another car starting to make his way forward as well, Joel Wraith. He has been fast and just, oh, Wraith goes wide. Now having trouble getting back on, he's going to lose several spots. Trying to get it back on track, he finally does, but loses a bunch of spots. Goes from 8th back to 12th. Ronnie Wimberly back in the fight after that early incident. Same with Julian Ricard, now back into 10th. Adam Barker lost three spots, now back into sixth place. But as we saw all last season long, even an incident with that 46 car, he manages to find a way to recover and make up a little bit of ground. Nick Sorensen continues to lead and continues to extend that lead. 1.8 seconds over second place, Simon Zierk. Avery Walker up into third. And Jason Wahlberg up to fourth now. He is 1.7 seconds behind Avery, and it looks like he might actually be gaining on him. As we mentioned, uh, Wahlberg has had a really fast car the last few weeks. Just a lot of bad luck. It looks like he might have shaken some of that bad luck as he is making his way forward again. Halfway through race number one, Sorensen still in the lead. Simon Zierk in second, Avery Walker third, Jason Wahlberg fourth, and Mike Dulling in fifth. Remember, the top seven will be inverted for the second race. They will start the second race based on how they finish in the first race with the top seven inverted. So if Nick Sorensen wins, he'll start back in seven. Jason Wahlberg was gaining on Avery Walker, but he has lost a little bit of ground in the last lap or so. Adam Barker back in sixth place is actually starting to gain on Mike Dulling now. And McCready back in seventh has a decent gap in front and behind right now. For a guy who was struggling coming into the race, seems to be doing okay here today. And <laughs> the exhaust on the McLaren has to be one of the coolest features of that car. Because it always puts on a show for you. Brian LaRue in the Mercedes, we've talked about him the last couple of weeks. He makes that car work on tracks where most people wouldn't even try and drive it. He manages to make it work and make it move forward. But Sorensen continuing to lead. Uh, 
Simon Zierk in second has two seconds on third place Avery Walker. Jason Wahlberg another three seconds back in fourth and Mike Dolling 3.3 seconds back in fifth. But Adam Barker in sixth after that spin earlier is starting to march back toward Dulling. The gap only 1.3 seconds right now. And McMullet in seventh, currently almost seven seconds behind Barker, but almost four seconds ahead of Julian Ricard in eighth. Ricard having a great recovery here. Oh! Ricard's around, and LaRue is off track. And I couldn't tell. I think there might have been a little bit of contact. It looks like there was some contact between them. The Ferrari on the break earlier than the Mercedes. Both drivers trying to make their way back toward the front, but late in this first race, difficulties. A few drivers also talking about as Nick Sorensen goes wide on that on some of these turns one thing that has been updated is the track limits and some of these drivers talking about how the track limits are impacting lap times and being able to get the most out of the car Simon Zierk in second, Avery Walker third, Jason Wahlberg fourth, Dulling in fifth, and Adam Barker is closing on Dulling. It is under a one second gap between the two. Can Adam Barker get up there and make something happen? Adam Barker almost to the back bumper on Dulling. Adam's season has definitely gotten off to a better start and a lot better luck so far this season with a win in the season opener, holding on to a top five points position all season long so far. And looking for a top five finish in race number one. Can he get there? Looks like Dolling has him beat on corner exit, but down the straightaway and into the corner, Adam Barker has been faster. And Adam has consistently chipped away at the time between them. He gets a big run. Oh, he is flashing his lights at Mike Dolling. <laughs> Looks like he's setting up for the move. Dolling moves over as well. They're setting up for the next corner. Adam cannot, has not been able to find a way by. Adam Barker dropping back just a little bit. Nick Sorensen's lead still two and a half seconds over Simon Zierk. Avery Walker back in third. Jason Wahlberg has dropped back to five and a half seconds back in fourth. Mike Dulling in fifth with Adam Barker all over the back bumper in sixth. McCready in seventh, now 10 seconds behind that battle. 
And Ronnie Wimberly has made his way back up into eighth place. And it looks like he might actually be gaining a little bit of ground on Eric McCready. Although three seconds is the current gap with seven minutes left to go. He's really going to have to pick up the pace if he's going to get up there and catch him. Dylan Steinbach in eighth. Mike Marshall in ninth. And Joel Wraith in tenth. Ed Schiller 11th. Brian LaRue in 12th. Julian Ricard currently in 13th after that incident. Adam Barker still staying right on the back bumper of Mike Dolling, but has, still has not been able to find a way by. The BMW has seemed all season like it can get the power down quicker, sooner, and more efficiently, but once the Audi gets up to speed, it is faster, and it seems to be faster through the corners as well. Adam really slinging that car around, trying to find something to get past Dulling. Dulling goes a little bit wide, and it looked like he, Barker was going to find a way in there, just didn't have the speed. McCready in seventh and now has Ronnie has closed that gap down to two and a half seconds. So Ronnie starting to make his way for it. He's got Steinbach and Marshall right there with him as well as Joel Wraith. Joel lost a bunch of positions after an off track incident. He couldn't get back onto the track. He is trying to make up ground here as well. Five minutes left. These, some of these guys might actually be able to make up some positions. Brian LaRue has come to pit road. And Joel Wraith is trying to pass Marsh, Mike Marshall right now. Remember, before the off-track, Joel Wraith was working his way forward. He's got a couple of cars right here within striking distance. He's going to make the move on Marshall. On the inside, down into the turn, clears him, goes wide. Marshall's going to try and fight back. Can't get there. Mike Marshall still on the back bumper. And Dylan Steinbach just ahead will be Joel Wraith's Next target, can he get him? Obviously, Joel is really sending it through here. Sets up to him into the inside and looks like he's going to clear him as well. He might actually be able to catch up to Ronnie, who is two and a quarter seconds ahead. As Nick Sorensen crosses the start finish line, next time by should get one to go. He has a 3.6 second lead over Simon Zierk in second. Avery Walker currently running in third, and Avery has almost caught up to Simon. We have multiple battles of Audis chasing down BMW. Oh, Dylan Steinbach has crashed. Dylan and Mike Marshall going at it. Oh, and Dylan just overshoots the corner. Has to stop and wait for the other traffic to get by. So Avery Walker in the Audi trying to get past Simon Zierk in the BMW. And additionally, Adam Barker looking for a move on Dolling. He looks to the inside. He gets the nose in, but it's not going to be enough. Doling has enough room to run off. That was so close as they came off the turn.
Barker has been looking for a couple of laps for a way around Mike Doling. Has not been able to get there yet. Avery Walker now side by side with Simon Zierk. He's trying to make it work on the outside. He's keeping the nose in into the next turn. Can he do it? Just not there yet. Nick Sorensen comes by. Should be getting the white. Should have gotten the white flag that time by. Avery Walker still trying to find a way around Simon here. Oh! Avery Walker just can't. It's the same thing we've seen with Adam Barker and Mike Doling. He can get to him. He's obviously got the speed, but trying to find somewhere to get past him, he's going to swing out. He's going to try it on the outside again. Not enough momentum yet. Mike Dolling and Adam Barker not far behind going through the same battle. Neither driver has been able, neither Audi driver has been able to get past the BMW yet. Simon Zirk still holding Avery Walker off. Adam Barker has lost a little bit of ground on Dulling now. But the battle for second continues as they run toward the finish line. Nick Sorensen way out front now, a four second lead as he comes through the final turns. And Sorensen is going to win race number one. Who's going to come in second? Out of the final turn and Avery can't do anything. Simon Zirk comes home second. Avery Walker is going to come on third. Jason Wahlberg finishes fourth. And Mike Dulling in fifth. Adam Barker couldn't find a way around in sixth. Let's see if we can talk to a few of the drivers before the next race. Hey, Avery, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Avery, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, I got you. Oh, I forgot your mic was breaking up a little bit. Hey, uh, you guys had one heck of a battle there at the end. What did you need to get past him? Uh, I needed some space, honestly. <laughs> he was making that BMW pretty wide. Uh, that's okay. Okay, we'll see what happens with race two. All right, man. Good luck. A heck of a run. Hopefully, you'll be able to get past a BMW in the next one, buddy. Yep. Thanks. All right. Let us see if we can get all to Simon. Hey, Simon. It's Doug. You got me. Hey, Doug. Hey, uh, what a finish. You guys had a heck of a battle going there for second place, but you managed to uh, hold him off. Uh, yeah, the last lap my pass went to downhill, and I couldn't keep up the pace from the first laps. So I had to block a little bit more than I used, uh, like to, but... It worked out for me. Yeah, it definitely did. Avery said he had he just needed some room, but you kept making that BMW really, really wide, and it seemed to be a common theme today. The BMWs may not be the fastest, but they can definitely have enough speed to hold everybody off. 
Yeah, if you look at the official races, the BMW was not the strongest car. It's more like a track in favor for Audi or the Lambos. But I got a pretty good pace here. So, yeah, good race for me. And I hope the next race uh, I can get a top five or so. Then I won't be happy. Well, good luck, man. You've obviously got some good speed here today. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can talk to our winner. Hey, Nick, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug, what's up? Hey, congratulations, man. That uh, that was a heck of a run. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you. You just kind of uh, took off and didn't look back there. <laughs> you kind of kept chipping away. It wasn't a, a, a massive pull away like we've seen in previous races with other drivers, but, man, you just got out there and nobody could even touch you. Yeah, I know. I knew the spots in the circuit. I was faster, and then uh, I just had to maintain my pace in the ones I knew I wasn't. That way, I didn't make any mistakes there. That, that's how I was able to keep the lead. Well, it definitely worked. But now you'll be starting a little bit further back on this next one. Are you going to be able to get through traffic and get to the front? Yeah, it's going to be fun. That's the name of the game here in these two heat uh, sessions. So we'll see if we can do it. All right, man. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. Oh, definitely some great racing so far this morning, Russell. And just over, or just under two minutes, rather, uh, until, as Simon's here, goes out for some practice and goes around, uh, until they go into race number two. Now, the top seven from the first race will be inverted. Everybody else will line up as they finished. Should make for some really, really great racing here from Silverstone. Getting ready for the second race, and the, they'll all start with fresh tires, a load of fuel they will not need stopped. Identical race distance, 30 minutes, so about 15 laps. Track conditions egg, almost exactly the same, so everything should be really, really close. But with the reversal of the top seven, that's going to put... Nick Sorensen starting back in seventh place, and he is going to have to fight his way back up through the traffic that he was able to walk away from in the previous event. We also saw only one incident in turn one on lap one on that last restart, but with guys trying to fight their way from the back this time, could we see a little bit more? Plus, as we saw last week, the first week of this double header setup, a little bit more aggression in the second race, and that could play out as well. All right, drivers taking to the grid. Heat number two will have... Eric McMullet McCready and Adam Barker on the front row. Mike Dolling and Jason Wahlberg on the second row. Avery Walker, Simon Zierk have the third row. Nick Sorensen starts in seventh after winning the first race with Ronnie Wimberly in eighth. Joel Wraith and Mike Marshall, ninth and tenth. Ed Schiller and Dylan Steinbach, eleventh and twelfth. Thirteenth will be Julian Ricard, Brian LaRue in fourteenth. All the drivers getting lined up and gridded. It looks like Joel Wraith and Ed Schiller 
Do not make the grid. Joel appears to be on pit road. So he might be starting from pit road this time. Ed Schiller looks like he'll have to as well. Eric McCready said he does not like this track. He had no speed, yet he marched his way forward in the last race. And was making up ground. Can he pull away here and make something happen? But Adam Barker was definitely on the prowl in the first race and definitely has some speed here. Can he make something happen? Green flag in the air there, down and away already. Adam Barker getting the run off into turn one. The Audis in front of the BMWs this time. Can they hold the Beamers back? Adam Barker shoots to the lead through turn one. And look at the stack up behind him. Nick Sorensen, last race winner, and back in seventh. Has a lot of ground to make up here. And it will not be easy with guys like Simon Zierk and Avery Walker right in front of him. And you have to wonder how wide is Avery going to make that Audi try and make something happen or trying to at least hold Simon off. Meanwhile, Adam Barker out front. Adam goes a little wide, catches a little bit of the sand there. Managing to hold on to it, though. Mike Doling in third now. Jason Wahlberg in fourth. Avery Walker fifth. Simon Zierk sixth. And Nick Sorensen in seventh. But look at this. Julian Ricard already up five spots after starting in 13th. He is all the way up to eighth place. And starting to run down Nick Sorensen. Ronnie Wimmerly in ninth and Mike Marshall in tenth. And Dylan Steinbach. Dylan just got too much of the rumble strip. Couldn't get the car to settle back down. Adam Barker opening up a 1.3 second lead already. McCready in second has Mike Doling behind him. And McCready flashing the lights for us. Jason Wahlberg back in third during the first race. He was making up a lot of ground. Can he make up even more starting further up in this one? Avery Walker so far has been able to keep Simon Zierk behind him. And all of them have kept Nick Sorensen back in seventh. Mike Doling makes a move for second place around McCready. Dulling now into second. And he is trying to run down Adam Barker. Adam Barker's lead 1.95 seconds. Now two seconds and continuing to grow. McCready in third. Jason Wahlberg going at it with Avery Walker now. Avery managing to stay out in front, but Jason has gotten past. Simon Zierk in sixth, Sorensen still in seventh, has not been able to get around and get through traffic as efficiently as he pulled away from the race last time. But Julian Ricard has definitely stormed through the traffic here today. Let's take a, right, a lap with Ricard as he comes through the final two turns. Ricard in the Ferrari has picked up five spots since the start of this race. Currently running in eighth.
you gotta love the flames out of the McLaren. Obviously, that Ferrari getting through those corners really, really well. Trying to find a way around the McLaren, but Sorensen still looking for a way to move back up toward the lead. Nick Sorensen having a great points day with that win, but he needs to get past these guys, especially Simon Zierk if he wants to continue making up points, and wow. Ricard gets through the early parts of these corners so much better. Using every inch of the track, getting out onto the rumble strips. And he is able to just throw that Ferrari through. You see the McLaren being thrown through the corners, the McLaren being the lightest car out here, but the least amount of power. The Ferrari a bit heavier, but he is Julian Ricard is really throwing that Ferrari around. And the McLaren looks up to the high side, can't make anything happen yet. Oh, it gets really close as they come back through the final couple of turns here. Ronnie Wimberly did hit pit road during that, and Julian Ricard just ran his fastest lap so far. Adam Barker's lead now 3.3 seconds, and he is growing. Mike Dulling managed to get to second, but Avery Walker has stayed right with him. McCready currently in fourth and Simon Zierk in fifth. Jason Wahlberg back to sixth, Sorensen in seventh, and Julian Ricard in eighth. Julian Ricard has came out the last few weeks and really shown how clean he is but how fast he is as well. And it looks like Sorensen is going for a move on Wahlberg. Can Julian Ricard? No, it looked like he was going to try and take advantage. Sorensen couldn't complete the pass. And it looked like Ricard almost got a free one down to the inside, but now Ricard goes. He is going for the pass on Nick Sorensen. Sorensen gonna hop down and follow him through. Oh, Sorensen, they get together. Julian Ricard is around. Adam Barker out front, Mike Dulling in second place, almost five seconds behind. Avery Walker in third, McMullet McCready in fourth, and Simon Zierk in fifth. Jason Wahlberg in sixth, and Nick Sorensen in seventh. After that spin, Ricard is back to 13th place. And Mike Marshall is actually gaining on Sorensen now. No damage to the front of his car, and I did not see any damage on the back of the Ferrari. But you know, Julian has got to be a little bit frustrated. He had already come from the back of the field. And Adam Barker, I guarantee you, is smiling right now. Almost five seconds is the lead. Mike Dulling in second, Avery Walker in third, and it is the, BM the 
Audi trying to get back around the BMW again. McCready in fourth and Simon Zierk in fifth. This battle also played out in reverse last time. Avery jumping to the outside, seeing if he can get something going to the outside here. Avery Walker trying to take second place. Does he have the speed? Mike trying to outbreak him through the turns. And it looks like Mike Dolling might be able to hold him off. He just did a massive outbreaking there. Oh, Avery did not lift. He stayed to the outside and ended up in the grass. But he did not lift. He was going for it. Simon Zirk has gotten around McMullet and now is up into fourth. This battle really, this is second, third, and fourth. And this battle is probably going to go nonstop for the rest of this race as fast as these three drivers are. McCready in fifth, still within a second of the top, or second, third, and fourth place cars. And Jason Wahlberg right there with him, and Sorensen goes for a move. Sorensen down to the inside. He really sent it through there. But the lightweight McLaren is easier to sling around some of these corners, although look, the Ferraris have really shown a lot of great handling this season. Now Sorensen trying to run down McMullet. Could this be his, the start of his charge to the front? But with Adam Barker pulling away from the field right now as Avery Walker is going for it again. Avery trying to take second place. Can Mike Dulling out break him again here? He breaks really late. Avery broke later. The back end on the out he gets squirrely, but he manages to pull it off. Avery Walker to second. Mike Dulling it is third. Simon Zirk right there with him in fourth. McCready in fifth. And here comes Nick Sorensen, who just turned the fastest lap of the race so far. He is now in sixth, and he is right there with this battle. Look at this. While these guys are battling, Adam Barker is just cruising. He currently has a seven-second lead over Avery Walker. Nick Sorensen, the fastest lap of the race so far. Over one second faster than the leader last time. Jason Wahlberg staying right with him. And Mike Marshall, second through eighth place, are all within three seconds of each other. And that is all of them right there. So you see, they are really staying close, all within, pretty much all of them are within slipstream of somebody else. Simon Zierk right behind Mike Doling. The two BMWs and the top five is Audi, Audi, BMW, BMW, Audi right now. Nick Sorensen in sixth. And look, we've got a battle going on as Marshall is trying to take seventh place from Jason Wahlberg. The BMWs seem to be able to break so much later into those final corners.
And Mike Mar oh, they are really close coming off the final turn. It's a drag race to turn one. Through turn one, and it looks like Mike Marshall is going to come out ahead on that move Marshall up into seventh. Sorensen is now looking to the inside on McCready, and he takes fifth. Adam Barker, meanwhile, his lead a little bit smaller now, 6.7 seconds, as Avery Walker pulls away from the cars behind him and starts trying to run the leader down. Halfway through the race, that seven-second lead starting to disappear oh so slowly. Mike Dolling in third, Simon Zierk in fourth, and Nick Sorensen one and a quarter seconds behind and gaining on him. Could we see Sorensen in this McLaren more as the season goes on? Brian LaRue has gone to pit road. Not sure what is going on there. Ronnie also appears to have gone to pit road and has not come back out. Looks like both of those drivers might be done. As Simon Zierk now looking for second place. I'm sorry, they are battling for third, not second, as Marshall and Simon Zierk, Mike Marshall and Simon Zierk go at it. And look at this, Sorensen sees an opportunity, tries to get to the inside, can't get there yet. Sorensen keeps sticking the nose in, oh! McMullet went around. Sorensen keeps looking to the inside on Simon Zierk. When they go side by side in front of him, he'll take the opportunity that will work the best. Simon Zierk has to go, though. He's going to have to make some kind of a move here. Adam Barker's lead still about 6.4 seconds over Avery Walker in second. It's the battle for third, fourth, and fifth now, though, that is really heating up. Simon looks to set up for the pass. Can't quite get there yet. Sorensen just waiting for one of these drivers to make a mistake or get a run. He'll follow him through. Now they're side by side down the straightaway. Simon Zierk finally getting past Mike Doling. Mike Doling not giving up yet though. Mike looking to the outside. He's going to try and outbreak him into the turn. And Nick Sorensen just waiting for that opportunity has not shown itself yet. While the top two continue to run away and Avery Walker trying to run down Adam Barker, the battle for third is really getting intense because now not only do you have Sorensen in the mix, but right behind them, Mike Marshall and Jason Wahlberg have both caught up. Sorensen keeps looking for a move, just can't get there yet. Here he goes, Sorensen looks down low. Can't, just doesn't have the momentum.
and Dylan Steinbach has crashed. Dylan has been struggling. He was having a good start to the first race. Goes a little bit wide and spins around. The first race went really well for Dylan, but this second race, not so much. Nick Sorensen really having to push it because Mike Marshall is there. Can Sorensen get him on the high side here? No. And Mike Marshall sticks the nose in. Not enough room. Simon Zierk in third is starting to pull away from the battle behind him. Mike Dulling in fourth, Nick Sorensen in fifth, Mike Marshall in sixth, and Jason Wahlberg in seventh. Avery Walker has pulled five, almost six seconds away from Simon Zierk in the second place place and Adam Barker in the lead his lead is shrinking quickly now 5.6 seconds is the gap Mike Marshall has crashed oh looked like he was trying to set up a move there couldn't quite get the nose in and has to get hard on the brakes, goes around. And Joel Wraith spins as they come back on track. Joel Wraith has gone to pit road with heavy damage on the left front. So it is Adam Barker in first, Avery Walker in second, now Simon Zierk in third. Mike Dulling in fourth, Nick Sorensen in fifth, and Jason Wahlberg in sixth. Sorensen still trying to find a way around the BMW. Tries to use a slipstream draft up and get the nose in into the turn. Does he get it in far enough? Not yet. Sorensen keeps trying to make something happen, just has not been able to get make the pass. After winning the first one, having to start the second race in seventh place, he's managed to get up into fifth, but has not been able to get any further yet. And every time it looks like he might be able to pull something off in that corner, but he just doesn't have the momentum into the next corner on the high side. Gets the nose in there, but not enough yet. Continues to stick the nose in and try and make Mike Doling make a mistake, but Mike is not falling for it. Adam Barker's lead now 4.7 seconds. Avery Walker is on a mission here. Simon Zierk in third is starting to pull away from the battle behind him. Meanwhile, Jason Wahlberg is caught back up into this battle. Sorensen sending it down again on the high side. Trying to be far enough in to have the advantage into the left. Still not enough there. <laughs> A 
and what a battle this is turning out to be. Adam Barker's lead still about four and a half seconds, but Avery Walker is chipping away at it, and with five minutes left, there is a possibility Avery Walker could catch him. But once he gets to him, he has to find a way around him. And as we've seen with Nick Sorensen, it's a little bit tricky to pass here. Ed Schiller back in seventh. McCready back in eighth. Julian Ricard has started in 13th, had made his way almost into the top five. Had an incident, went all the way back, and has made his way back up into ninth. If he ever gets a front starting spot, everybody else will be in trouble. Mike Marshall in 10th, Dylan Steinbach in 11th. Joel Wraith, Brian LaRue, and Ronnie Wimberly all out of the race now. Adam Barker's lead now down to just over four seconds. Avery Walker in second, continuing to close the gap. But he's going to have to make up one second a minute over the next four minutes to be able to get there. Simon Zierk in third, just ran his fastest lap of the race in third. Mike Doling in fourth has actually pulled away just a hair as here comes look at Jason Wahlberg send it and then Sorensen crosses back over Ed Schiller has gone to pit road Wahlberg what a power move it looked like he was going to make it happen had to check up through the next turn and gave Sorensen the opportunity to take the spot back Now Sorensen back to the back bumper on Dolling. Sorensen really looking. He is trying everywhere now. Avery Walker in second. Now the gap three and a half seconds to the leader. Avery Walker continues chipping away. Adam Barker's lead now three and a half seconds. Next time across, he should be getting the white flag. This time when he gets to the start finish line. Can he hold Walker off for another lap? The last few laps, Avery Walker has been anywhere from eight tenths of a second to a little over a second faster. He is going to have to make up a lot of ground. But if Adam Barker makes any mistakes here, Avery Walker will be there. Nick Sorensen's got to run down to the inside again. Can't make it stick. And look, Jason Wahlberg tries to stick the nose in. Three different cars so equal right now. Nobody can make anything happen as Adam Barker leads for the final time. Avery Walker in second, Simon Zierk in third, Mike Dolling in fourth. Jason Wahlberg has gotten past. Let's see how he managed to get past Sorensen. Sorensen looking for a way around. And just as they come off the corner, Wahlberg sends it in. What a great move by Jason Wahlberg. 
Now Sorensen looking again. As Adam Barker continues to lead, but his lead now down to 2.7 seconds. But it's the final lap, and it doesn't look like Avery Walker can make up a full two seconds in what is left of this lap. Adam Barker just needs to hit his marks, make no mistakes for the final few corners. Hey, good morning, Harley. Through the final set of quarters, Adam Barker just has to clear it. He'll get his second win of the season. And Adam Barker wins for the second time this season at Silverstone. Avery Walker comes home in second. Simon Zirk is third. Fourth is not decided yet. Mike Dolling currently in fourth. As they come out of the final turn, it'll be Dolling in fifth. Jason Wahlberg comes home in sixth. Let's see if we can talk to our winner. Hey, Adam, this is Doug. You got me? I got you. How are we doing? Hey, man, really good. Uh, congratulations. Second win of the season. Yeah, yeah, really happy with it. It was a good race. I was yeah. uh, very lucky I could get, get away at the start and just run. It, it, even though guys broke away at a couple of different points, you still were turning some incredibly fast laps out there. And more importantly, incredibly consistent. You pulled away to almost a seven-second gap at one point. Yeah, Avery was really quick. I'm, I'm not sure I'd have been able to keep him uh, behind me if he was, uh, if I'd had another few laps. But um, yeah, I knew I had a, a, a decent lead, so I just make sure I was keeping it on the track rather than anything. Uh, I didn't, I didn't need to push it, so I was just stroking the car home. Well, that definitely worked out this morning, man. Congratulations! I know after last season, having two wins on the season has got to be an awesome feeling. Yeah, really good. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's nice to be at the top end of the field. <laughs> I do believe you'll actually jump up. Uh, you should be jumping up into third place in the points today, and you'll close the gap on Mike Doling in second as well. You might even take second in the points. Yeah, it's really close between me and Mike, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. Well, man, a heck of a race. I know a lot of uh, people were cheering for you this season, so congratulations on your second yeah, win, you buddy. Much. Thank you. All right. Adam Barker wins race number two at Silverstone. What a morning. What a lot of close racing. You're not going to want to miss the rest of this season every Sunday morning. Don't forget to come back tonight at 730 Eastern for the BRR Cup Series. I do believe we're at Bristol tonight. We will see everybody then. Have a great day.